Hey, what is going on my friends? Today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to make stunning channel art for your YouTube page. We're going to get started and use this program called PicMonkey. That is what I highly recommend you guys use to make some awesome art for your channel. And also you can use it for your video thumbnails and it works very well. So what I do is go to PicMonkey.com. I'll put the link in the description below, so go check that out. And what you do is once you're on the site, you go to edit, and then you're going to hit, you're going to click right on there, and you're going to use this thing called a channel art template. And I'm going to give you the download in the description below as, um, as well, or I'll send you to the link where you can get it. And you just save the image as, and you can use it. So basically, this tells me the dimensions of where I can place, place images and have them show up on all the different um, interfaces being desktop, tablet, TV, and mobile phone. So this is where I put all my text and images to make sure that the channel art displays all of those on all those different devices. So it is a, uh, you know, 1546 pixels by 423 pixels. So what you want to do is first leave this up how it is. And first we're just going to place a text overlay. This is just going to be an example to show you guys. So I'm going to go add text, double click in here, and I'm going to type in Minecraft. I'm going to center that. And then in order to make it bigger, you can, you can either raise the size this way, or you can drag the whole little text box thing up. I'll show you in a second. So I can drag it up, and it would make it larger. So see how that fits nicely in there? You can make it larger, or you can make it smaller, depending on how big you want the text to be. The text is obviously, you can make it your channel name or anything like that, but you want it to be the central piece of your artwork. Next, we can add what are called overlays, and these overlays are important to making your channel unique and making it your own. So you can either pick from geometric or heart-shaped or any other shape here for overlays, and you can choose any of these here um, from the basic category, or you can do something and use your own images. And what you do is you go to, for example, I searched up um, Minecraft character transparency, and I'm going to use this guy right here. You have to make sure that it's a transparent image with checkered background in order for you to use it as an overlay, and that makes it look the nicest as possible. I already downloaded it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to your own here, my computer, pictures, and I'm going to find the character right here. So here he is, here he is, and I can send him to the back so that the text comes over top of him so that you can read the image. And he can be right there. Um, I mean, you can move him a little bit more, I guess, over to this way. I'm going to shrink the text. And now my character, Mr. Steve, I'll call him, is right in the text area. And he fits nicely there. Okay. The next step is, I mean, well, you can add more overlays or anything like that. But the next step right now is to blank out this background. Now that we know exactly about where the visible range is, we can blank things out in the background because you don't want this to be showing. So what you do is go to effects right here, scroll all the way down to draw, and then you're going to raise the brush size up to 600, it's going to be white and the hardness has to be on 100%. And I can, what I can do then is basically erase what I don't want and it will leave what I do want. So see how nice that looks now? And I'm going to hit apply so that it saves that, that uh, process there. Um, another thing that you can do is add a background. So I can add my own background. So you open texture and I do enjoy this background. Specifically this is my current channel art and it looks very nice. You can search up any background that you'd like to put behind it. You can make your own. Do whatever you want. If while you place it down you can make the saturation a little higher to make it ex like pop out a little bit more. You can either choose to fade it less or fade it more. Um, I leave it around 20% usually, and then you hit apply. So that is the next step. So I can, as you can see, um, it looks nice right now, but we can do a couple more things to make it look even better. As we do know, um, you can add more overlays or more you know, images or anything, but just be careful and make sure that you keep it within that little range so that it's visible on all platforms. Another effect that I like to do that you guys see me use constantly is the draw effect, and basically I can use this to highlight the letters and make it explode a little bit more, make it pop out and become more of this like eye-catching image. So what you do is you choose any color you want, but you have to make sure that the hardness is all the way down so that it kind of glows it a little bit. And I can change my brush size to be a little bit smaller. And what I can do now 
is I can outline the letters as you see I am right now and it makes it pop out a little bit more. Let me use actually a different color so that it's more visible. So I can use red for example. You go over the letters or you can just go straight across with a larger brush and this helps the letters pop out just a little bit more and catch your viewers eyes and that's really important when it comes to video thumbnails and things like that. So you can mess around with this all you want and make it your own and I could I guess I could continue this all the way and make this a really high quality one but I'm going to leave you guys to do that. So as you can see I can highlight all the letters here. Going to finish them real quick. So yeah, Minecraft is now highlighted and I can do a better job. You can add other colors in there, anything you'd like. Once you finish the drawing, you hit apply, and be careful that you like what you have, because once you hit apply, you can't get rid of it. So now I can also draw and choose to highlight Mr. Uh, our little Minecraft character here, so I can, you know, do a little highlight on him with this larger brush and just click a little bit. And that makes him pop out of the image just a little bit more as well. So these are the basic of basics of PicMonkey. It is a very useful program. It's free, so don't worry about it having to pay or anything but it gives you a wide range of options to make thumbnail art and um, channel art. So like I said, use that text overlay or the, the channel art dimensions thing first and then continue. The last step is to save it, of course. So there are three um, different quality indicators here. You can do Roger, Pierce, or Sean. Sean is the highest, but be careful about the file size when you're doing channel art and thumbnails. Thumbnail maximum is about 2.0 megabytes, so anything above that it won't work. So make sure it's below 2 or at 2 when it comes to Sean. But Sean is good because it has the highest quality and it'll make people able to read your text a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is just save it to my computer. Um, so test channel art, basically. I'm going to save that as. So this is the image that we're going to see, as you can see, it says Masterpiece Saved, and hopefully you did make a masterpiece, um, and now you can make put that masterpiece on your channel. So I'm going to just show you an example of it, what it would look like. So I go to Edit Channel Art, that right now is that's my current one. So select a photo from your computer, I'm going to go all the way down to Test Channel Art, where are you? Here we go. So it's going to upload, I think mine was at 2.4 megabytes, and I think that should still work. Yes it does. So here it's going to show me desktop, TV, and mobile. This is what it's going to look like in all of them. And as you can see, like I said, the Minecraft text fits in all of those different interfaces. So we know that that's now good to go. So as you can see here, it fits very nicely. And you can do whatever you like with it. You have a great amount of space. You can put um, you know, your Twitter images or Google Plus images right here to let your viewers know that you have those as well. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have fun using PicMonkey, and I will catch you guys in the next one.